Welcome back to yet another release notes video. Today, December, Christmas has come early. Today we have a bunch of new fixes and updates and new features for Armour 3D, so let's get into it. Firstly, in the debug console, we have a brand new properties panel. Previously, we didn't have this that showed up, so this is a great new addition because when you click on an object in the debug console, it shows all the objects, for example, location, rotation, scale, the dimensions, all the different traits, but now it also shows the properties, any sort of property you add as in the variables whether it be a string or a boolean it will all show up all those different uh, all those different properties under that object so you don't need to hunt for those properties anymore it's much easier to understand also talking about easier to understand we have an addition to the show event node so when you're using events inside of Amazon 3d previously you had to just type in the event you had to create an event by typing it in and then you had to receive that event and uh, it was a bit complicated to figure out which is which you had to look at this little box now it's much easier it shows up on the actual node itself so it's very clear what this uh, event is about what it's doing what it's reading what it's sending much easier to understand talking about much better to work with we have the addition of the node group search so now if you go down shift day you have this node group category obviously first you need to create some node groups so it's very easy to do go to the end panel go to arm 3d create the node group add whatever nodes you want in there and then you have it that shows up in the shift day node group tab all the way at the bottom so very useful but we also have the addition of removing all the different traits from an active object for example if you go to the arm 3d traits click that little drop down arrow and remove all traits it's going to remove all the information from that object which is great so you don't have to go through manually removing all those different traits much faster much easier much better. We also have, talking about the engine, a bunch of new people coming up uh, that are making some really great tutorials on Armour 3D. We have one of the big mentions here that I want to talk about is SimpleCube, who's done some amazing work. He's done a very intricate uh, sort of uh, tutorial series that explains everything in full detail, very easy to understand. He's done it in English and in Russian. It's uh, TTS, uh, text uh, speech uh, software. So, you know, it's not human voice like mine, so it's pretty easy to understand, even though people don't usually like that. I think you should definitely go check it out. It's incredible. It's much better than anything I've put out, and it will really teach you a lot about the engine. You also have... Um, uh, please try this who's done a lot of amazing stuff he's uploaded uh, he's making a game in 9 3d he's talking about all the different steps he's going through really good stuff go check it out and as always we have the five bounties that no one has actually finished yet there's a lot of bug fixes that have been done in the back end to help you guys out there's a lot of things that have been cleared up a lot of things that are making this this run like a nice smoothed oiled machine there are a few glitches here and there but every single engine has those if you report them then we we can fix them so that's up to you guys and anyway and that's it for me that's it for the engine and that's it for this month i'll see you next year for another i'm a 3d release notes